Okay guys, so first off, I'm going to show you what tools you're going to need. So you're going to need a variety of brushes. First brush I have is a Speedmaster Mini. After that, I have Adam's Polishes a Wheel Wooly. This one is more for wheels of small rotors, and this one's more for the tight spaces to get into. After that, I have my Tough Shine brush for your tires. I have my, um, this is just a regular... Um, Boris hairbrush for the small to get areas. I just have a regular sponge, sponge of your choice. I have my cleaning solution. Um, this is just solo sprayer. I just use it because it makes it easier instead of having to spray 50, 60 times. I just pump this up, hit the nozzle, boom, done. Um, I'll put the link in the bio to what's in here. It's four parts water to one part um, cleaner. You have your wheel cleaning solution. Now I know it looks dirty, but it's actually clean. What I have in there is Turtle Wax's um, variable power power wash, so you can adjust it. So I have six ounces and a gallon of water, so that's pretty strong. The reason why I'm using that soap is because it has no additives and it's going to strip away any waxes and any other dirt and grime on the wheel. Last but not least, the real product of the day is going to be this McKees 37 Extreme Iron Remover. This is basically like Iron X, except it's a little bit cheaper. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to put your quarter in and start rinsing down the wheel and the wheel well. You just want to use clear water, rinse. You're going to want to make sure to get underneath the wheel well. This way you blast out all that salt and all the other junk out of there. You want to get your iron remover, you want to start spraying down the wheel. Make sure to get inside the barrels as well. For that to go to effect, you can take your, um, your non-acid wheel cleaner. And this also works for tires as well. You need to start spraying the tires down. You can also spray underneath the wheel wells with this as well. This little sprayer is very nice. Look at that. You can just lock it in. You don't have to hold it down. Really nice. I recommend that solo sprayer. I'll have the links to all the products in my description. So first thing you want to do is start scrubbing down your tires. You get all that junk off. Alright, so we had to grab a light because we couldn't see the uh, purple color here. But since these aren't performance wheels, these are the Chevy Cruze. It doesn't really put out a lot of brake dust. But you can see here on the rotors and underneath in the wheel well, you can see the purple bleeding. And all that is, is that means that it's actually breaking down the iron contaminants on the wheel itself. The brush, since this is the front rotors, they're a little bit bigger. So my Adam's wheel wheelie keeps getting stuck. So instead of using the Adam Wooly, I'm going to use the Speedmaster Junior and instead just start cleaning with that. You're going to start cleaning from the top down so that all the dirt and debris sinks to the bottom as you're cleaning. This way you're not working against yourself and bringing the dirt back up. You can also bend this to get behind the spokes like this. Really handy little tool. Great for getting behind the spokes. Then once you're done with it, you just bend it back and get deep inside the barrels itself. For the wheel faces, you can either use a regular sponge, whatever your choice is of a sponge, or a boar's hair brush. I usually use the boar hair's brush on the lug nuts, on the emblem, and on the tire stem valve. So I'll go really quick with the boar hair brush, get all the little intricate details. But then after that, I'll grab my big sponge to cover a large area and get the wheel spokes and faces themselves. So once again, clear water. The print. I know it needs you, you 
can use either your tough time brush or your wheel wheelie. And you can actually scrub here underneath the fender well. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is since we cleaned the wheel, we want to make it easier to clean in the future and protect the wheel surfaces. So what's in here is McGee's 37 Hydro Blue Concentrate. It's diluted 1 to 4, so it's a little more than 1 to 6. So it's a little stronger, but it protects a little longer. This is a spray-on wash-off sealant for your wheels. And what that does is enables it to spread into all little cracks and crevices in your wheel. And it makes it really easy and really fast to um, seal and protect your wheels. You want the wheel wet. So wet the entire wheel. And next, come on spray. Three light sprays, one to two sprays is all you need. And after that, you want to immediately rinse it off. High pressure water. So what you see here is that the water is actually beating. What that means is that it has a hydrophobic surface and it's preventing all the dirt and debris from actually sticking onto the wheel. So the next time you come to clean it, all you have to do is literally just wipe off and you don't actually have to scrub and scrub and spend hours just detailing your wheels. Alright, so finally, all your wheels are clean, tires are clean. You want to begin to dry them. I use this little um, silver microfiber, gray microfiber, and I color code it because I think when I think gray, I think wheels. You can also use black, whatever color you'd like. So you just want to go dry out your wheel. I usually get the face first and then I'll get inside the wheelbarrow itself. It feels super smooth and slick because of the um, hydro blue. The only notice I'm sure everyone notices is the rust that immediately begins to form on your rotors. This rust is just because there's water on them. When it rains you probably don't notice it but the same thing happens. So the first time you break leaving here, the rust is going to go away. You to dry your tire too. As you can see, this thing is super clean. I can scrub at this tire. Look at that, no black, no former tire dressing on it. Just clean tire, that's what you want. And that's what helps make your tire gel last longer and look better. And this is CarPro Pearl. It's a water-based dressing. You can, it's dilutable as well. So you can use it on your interior, on your plastics, on your trim, or on your tires. On your tires, most people use it between undiluted or one-to-one. -one. Today I'm going to use the undiluted since I prepped the wheels really well. And this is the first coat that these uh, tires are getting. So I'm going to use the undiluted. You don't spray this on, you use it by hand applicator. All you do, you just put about a dime size amount on. Next up, you're going to want to spread it on your tire before you start actually buffing it in. And then, after that, you just start buffing it in and spreading it out. Ensuring that you don't get it on the rim itself. And this will give the tire a really satin and matte look. It won't be a super wet look. It's going to be more, like I said, a satin look. Um, the wet look is more from like spray on dressings and you can do this with this, you can spray it on or you can get a brush and actually apply it a little thicker like that. But I don't really prefer that look. It used to be a good thing and now it seems like eh, I've gotten away from that and just looks better. And it also prevents your tire dressing from swinging up onto the, onto the um, paint itself. So this sticks right on and you'll have no sling at all. As you can see, the tire is like a matte slash, uh, has like a shine. Not super glossy and wet, more just like a deep black look and just really adds to the look of the car.